So let's go ahead and let's talk about this game coming up on Monday Night Football. Yeah, I know. Let's go ahead and talk about this game coming up. Monday Night Football, Chiefs, Arrowhead. Smitty, give me your prediction and your preview. Uh, This dude is cheeks, yo. I don't know. It's probably gonna end oh, up. Bad, I don't know. Bad. I don't think our defense is gonna get. I don't know if it's gonna get better this over this week. Geez. So, um, I'm probably gonna go somewhere between probably like 31, 35 Eagles. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's your thoughts on the game? By the way, I don't really know, man. I'm I'm, I'm predict. I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna, I'm I'm pretty. I'm probably gonna go bet my money on Patrick Mahomes to probably kill us for three hundred. Um, but I expect Jalen Hurts to probably put up 400 total yards, uh, maybe four touchdowns. Yeah, because the 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 other touchdown would probably be Kenny Gainwell or um Swift. But I mean, I don't think I don't think you clean up everything in a week. I hope we do. But if I'm being realistic, every quarterback this year has put up 300 yards. Mac Jones, uh, Baker Mayfield almost did it. Um. Kirk Cousins did it. Dak Prescott did it. Uh, Sam Howell did it twice. So I mean, I mean, if if you go, I mean, if you're gonna be realistic, you gotta say that supposedly the greatest quarterback to ever do it is gonna have the same, right? Um, I hope we can stop the bleeding right. early. I hope I hope he he gets a good first. And he don't get to keep going after that. But um, we gonna see, man, because. Some people, some people come out to buy and they they on all cylinders, and come, some come out to buy and get hit in the mouth. King, that's crazy because I'm I'm normally out of us too. I'm normally the one that try to be realistic. Uh, <laughs> but I will say this: What you man. mean? I'm always realistic. No, nah, bro. Like, like, <laughs> that's what I show is more- it's more me. I'll be the realistic one. You be like, but DV, no, there's the stats and this and dirt. And and I'm like, all right, bro, you probably right. And, and that, that's where it goes with it. That's how I be. I'm just being real. But at the same time, I'm trusting in my team, man. They eight and one right now. And I think that, you know, Jalen Hurst has this circle. You know, we can sit up there and say, you know, Smitty at the beginning. And even even on our show, you said, Hey, this is not a revenge game, and I agree with you. It's not because you want the revenge game to be at the Super Bowl. You want it to matter. You know, that's what you want it to be. Now, this is a standard game for us. Yes, it is. Um, But how Jalen Hurts, the Eagles that lost that Super Bowl are looking at it, they're looking at it, it's like, yo, they're seeing red, literally. They're going to see red. And they're gonna try to sit up there and make a statement. Um, I'm ready for to see how a healthy secondary finally is, you know, or not even healthy, but you know, everybody that's supposed to be where they're supposed to be at, right? I'm 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 ready for you know what what changes are we gonna do? We had what two weeks almost to 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 gear up for this. I know some people went on vacation, whatever like that, but look, we got to ramp it up a little bit. You know, get people back in football football uh mindset to the point where, you know, this is going to be a hell of a game. I already know it's going to be a close game. Um with that being said, man, you know, hopefully nothing's wrong with the field. Hopefully <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you know, it's no no misholding calls or a holding call doesn't decipher if you know they they win they win that drive or not, you know, you know any excuses that other people have made. But this is what I got. My final score for this game: thirty-one twenty-seven. Go birds. Mitch? All right. <clears throat> I'm not as nervous as everybody because Taylor Swift is not going to be there. So let's just get that out of the mind. <laughs> Taylor Swift is not going to be there. So that's the best thing right there. But um, but on serious Conflict of interest. Conflict of interest. <laughs> but on seriousness, you got to get them a homes. You got to get them a homes. We got the press shot five. I want to get them a homes at least five. Reddick. Sweat, it's your time to sign for this thing. We're going to need them to close it out, get that sack, and when it matters the most. And then when it comes to the offense, 
give it to A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown's on a historic run. Keep on feeding that ball. Keep on giving it to him. If Swift's open, hit Swift if you can. Not Swift, Devontae Smith. My God, so many Swifts. But uh, yes, Devontae Smith, hit him if he's open. And then Julio Jones in the, uh, in the red zone. Basically it. And Cam Jurgens offensive line is key. And your prediction? And my score prediction? I'm going 32-28 birds. Stu? That down. All right. Sure, don't forget it. This is where y'all are going to get to see the cynical side of you. Uh-oh. I need us to, first of all, even if we don't get to him, at least get some pressure. We need to have a spy on Mahomes. And that needs to be somebody that is quick and is shifty enough to be able to shift and change direction and change field as quickly as he can. I would prefer that to be Sidney Brown because I think he has a quick enough footwork to do so. But we need to maintain rush lanes when going against this guy because we can't just sit there and rush too far up past him and give him lanes to squeak out and do and run for like third and 15s like he did against us in the damn Super Bowl. We can't allow that. Um, I see this game ending. Because, see, DB stole my score. He stole my score because I had I had the same score, 31-27 birds. So you sticking that one or are you making a new one? But I'm going to go 27-23 birds. Weapon? Still four-point game. <laughs> yeah. Weapon? I'll say I'll say 24-27. Uh, I think it'll be a late game field goal that's going to ice the game. It could be last second field goal or maybe a field goal within a two minute warning that pretty much seals the deal. It's going to be a close game. Most of the Eagles games have been close, pretty much all of them. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's going to go down to the wire. Uh, my key, you you got to get to Patrick Mahomes. You got to hit him in his mouth early. You hit him early. Usually when you hit someone early, they you know they don't want they don't want to do too much talking. You hit him in their mouth early. <laughs> yeah, they don't, yeah, so they don't want to get him out the way early. You know, and from there, I think I think we're in good shape. Um, so I, that I think it's twenty four twenty seven last second field goal. And for me, it's like this: I it's, it'll be thirty to twenty four birds for me. You gotta win these games because I said it in my video early. You need to win at least three, two, or two to get the thirteen to fourteen wins. You got to, because the, uh, the I, Giants. I agree. Because think about this. The Giants and the Cardinals pushed them to the side. Those are, we know we know what those are. But if you can get two or three within the next five games, 14 wins, 13 wins, number one seed right there. Just 13. Get, right. 13 or 14, whichever one comes first. Just get those wins. And it starts with the Chiefs. 30 to 24. It starts with the Chiefs. Now, granted, here, the next go ahead, Stu. Here's why I say here's why I say 13 to get it. How many losses the Cowboys got right now? Three. How many losses the Niners got right now? Three. They both about to get lost for the, from us. There you go. So all I need is two or three wins within this stretch to get you thirteen or fourteen wins. You can beat the Cardinals and you can beat the you can murder the Giants any given Sunday. I know, Keen. I know the look on your face. Any given Sunday, but still, two to three wins it gets you. And I only said I know the look on King's fickle because they're really, really, we lost the dang Jets. So any given Sunday, but still. Mm -hmm. I, That's not that. I mean, we need, we need five of the that's, next eight. 
That's it. Yeah, that's not why. That's not. That's not why I was making that face. The reason why I was making that face is, is that, you know, one of those games we're not going to need. Probably that last game. Probably the last two. Depends so on how 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 basically so. you know it, it pans out. You know, right. um, our, our division. Let's the, the start with the division. The Cowboys right. still play. The, the the Dolphins. They still play. Uh, who else they play? Uh, the, the team that's throwing picks. They they yeah, got they, they the, got Washington. They still they play, got they Washington the twice. They play the Seahawks too. They play the yeah. Seahawks. They got too. Detroit too. Yeah. They got Detroit too. Yeah. My thing is this. I look at it this way. If we give the Cowboys loss number four, and we give the Niners loss number four. We can all tie with a 13 and 4 record. It don't matter. We got the head to head against both of them. So we got the number one either way. That is so true. you gotta watch out for them lions, though. You gotta watch out for them lions. I'm lions not worried right about now. them. I'm not worried about them. So the our strength of schedule, about. our strength of schedule, our strength of schedule gives us the one seed over there. That is true. Yep. That's so, facts, bro. That's facts. Yep. No one lies, 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 no